I was out of San Francisco, but Sacramento was part of my area. Mm -hmm. All of Northern California, in fact, probably larger than that, was my area. Mm -hmm. You know, all the way to the next org. See what I'm saying? Yeah. So if anything happened in Sacramento, I packed my bag and I went down there and handled it. I don't know the people there. Right. You know, I go in the org, you know, I look around at the people that are on lines there. You know, I know what I'm there to do. I'm there to recruit a spy. You know, and I just look at people and evaluate them in my own opinion. You know, does this person look like they uh, are uh, enough of a Scientologist that I could ask them to do something like that and they would do it. That's all. Did you, did you find that it was difficult to find Scientologists that would do that? No. Sorry to say. <laughs> I mean, there was a lot of people I didn't talk to. Right because I knew ahead of time, <laughs> this ain't guy, guy ain't got what it takes. You know, so I guess I was good at picking them mm -hmm. because um, I can't think of any case where I asked the person to do it, they said no. Mm -hmm. We would try to go and find out things overtly when it came to giving information to PR and legal. We would try to get the information overtly, you know, like legally, so that they could use it, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Uh, a lot of cases, uh, we we would obtain information covertly. Uh, let's say uh, that, uh, okay, here's a specific example. In fact, it involves Vaughn. Okay? <clears throat> the San Francisco Better Business Bureau was in the same building as the org. They were one floor below us. <laughs> and... Uh, that was a threat. Well, yeah, you know, they, they had a, a nasty little file on Scientology. You know, anybody called them about Scientology, you know, they go, yeah, 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 you know, give them some critical stuff, right? So they were an enemy. So uh, we, you know, our task was to get their file uh, so that PR could go in there and, uh, you know, try to dead agent the thing, that kind of stuff, you know. <clears throat> well... I got a Scientologist to be the janitor for the building. That gave us the key to the Better Business Bureau. Okay? Uh, he handed the key over to me. We went in there at night, me and a couple other guys. We copied all their files. Um, and then we walked out and uh, we had them. That's how we got them. Then uh, PR, which was Vaughn at the time, uh, Vaughn Young, uh, PR in San Francisco, we turned the files over to him. So we had to have some story about how did we get this. Well, how do we got that is that uh, we wrote a letter. We, I mean, we didn't write it, we typed it. We went on there. <laughs> we went on the BBB's own typewriters, right? Because you can track typewriters. Like fingerprints sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Right. So we didn't type it on our typewriter. We typed it on their typewriter. Why? Why not? We're in their damn building. <laughs> so we typed a little letter from a, 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 you know, the letter said that you know they had some axe to grind with their boss and the BB, that like it was coming from a person who works at the BBB, right? Is typing this letter. And by the way, I don't think this is right. And here's their file, and mailed it. Well, that isn't how we got it but that's what the letter said, how we got it. And therefore, that made that data overt. See what I mean? It was, looked like it was overtly obtained. Well, it wasn't. Well, that's common practice. I mean, that's just standard, everyday stuff, okay? We had to take information that we had obtained covertly and illegally and make it, Sugar you know, uh, make it overt. How can we use it overtly? How can we use it legally? How can we use it in PR? Yeah, yeah. That was, you know, just part of the day's work. Okay, so <laughs> that's how we nailed them. Okay, so then Vaughn goes and gets the press, right? The media, I'm talking about. The newspaper guys, right? The TV guys, cameras, everything. Stomps into the BBB, throws the file down. What the hell is this? You know what I mean? And then tear, proceeds to tear them up in front of the press. So there's nobody who's safe from this. There was nobody excluded from this. I don't care if you're a judge, you're the president, you work for the CIA. It doesn't matter. 
You're just a private citizen. You're a cop. I don't care if you're a cop. I would tear you apart. You know what I mean? With this tech. <laughs> no boundaries. No. No boundaries. Mm -mm. My frame of mind at the time I was doing this was that, uh, which is no question in my mind, the frame of mind of the people who do it today, mm -hmm. is that uh, Scientology was the savior of the world, or if that's the right words. We were going to clear the planet. Uh, we were going to eliminate uh, criminality, insanity, and war on this planet. Those are the aims of Scientology, right? And we felt like we had the technology to do that with, and that anybody that would destroy that technology um, was, you know... Uh, Fair game. Well, we weren't going to let them do it. 